Hello everybody, this is Schwan, and this is the next video in the TrazicServers.com series of how to better manage your server. And today we're talking about installing SourceMod plugins. We've already we've already talked about installing SourceMod itself through the auto installers in the control panel. If you haven't seen that video yet, go see it. Now, now that you're back, let's go to the downloads page. So we've done this before in past videos. TragicService.com, press support, press downloads when you're logged in. Okay, if you're not logged in, you can go to tragicservers.com slash downloads.php and it should work for you. Um, and today we're talking about plugins, so we'll click on that. And then we're going to download, um, the server that I have is a Chicago server, so it's a Windows server uh, on Tragic Server. So we'll download this pack right here and we'll download this pack, the Match Recorder and MGE Soap and TF2 Logs. So once we've done that, Actually, I man wasn't prepared for this one. Let's see here. We'll go to tragic video, then we'll go to add-ons. All right. So once you download those two things, excuse me, they will be zip files, and the first one we're going to work on is MG and Soap for Windows. Remember, there's also a TF2 Logs uh, plugin in here as well. So let's go ahead and open that up. You know, we'll extract it. There it is. Any way you want to extract it, we'll do. We've talked about extracting zips before in previous videos. So you'll see here that the, this is just the folder structure for what's needed for um, MG and SOAP. And I do believe it also includes SDK hooks because SDK hooks is needed for MG mod. So now that we have that extracted, let's open our FileZilla. I am unprepared today. Here we go. Get that in order. And we will connect to the vector server. We'll just do it in a new tab. We'll close the old tab for continuity's sake. So we'll sort this by file name. We'll go to our TF folder. And on our remote site, we're in our server. On our local site, let's find where we were before. So we'll go to add-ons here. All right. So in this full in the, so if you see that there's an add-ons folder and a CFG folder in your local site, in your remote site there's an add-ons folder and CFG folder. There is a really simple way to, to do this. So what we need to do is put everything that's in this add-ons folder into the add-ons folder on our server. So a real easy way that I found to explain this to people who haven't done something like this before is on the local site, double click on add-ons and you'll see the source mod folder. Drag the source mod folder and drop it into the add-ons folder of the server. Okay, so let me just unselect that so it's a little bit more clear. We'll grab the source mod because look, source mod is inside. See, we, we click on add-ons and now source mod is inside add-ons. So we're going to put source mod and drag and drop it inside add-ons. All right, and, and I'm not going to do that because I already have this installed. But once you do that, you will see a bunch of file transfers going on down here, and it all should work successfully. And then you will have that part of it done. Now, if we go back, there's also a CFG folder we got to worry about. So let's open the CFG folder, and inside it is a source mod folder. So we'll mirror our actions on the remote site. So okay, we'll click on CFG, and then we will drag the source mod folder into the CFG folder. Okay, now we could also do it this way too. We could click, we could drag the source mod folder into the CFG right there. And then I'm not going to do it because I already had the folder as you might have seen. And then it would install MG, SOAP, and TF2 logs to your server. And you're done. So now you have source mod, MGE, SOAP, TF2 logs, you have everything you need to go. But there's one last thing I want to talk about, which is installing plugins that you might not have gotten from tragic servers. There's like, so. If you go on um, Allied Modders and you get like a special plugin that you want that it, that you know that Tragic doesn't provide in his downloads, that's fine. But you need to know how to do that uh, without one of his packs. So we'll talk about it right now. Ironically, we'll use one of his packs to explain. But you know, we'll just use our imagination here. So we'll extract the match recorder. Remember, we downloaded the match recorder from Tragic servers. Okay. So we will click in here, and there's a README. And this is why I thought it was a good example even though it was still a pack from Tragic, because anytime you're on the like the Allied Modders forums and you see a big form thread and then it links the file, don't just grab the file. Read the readme information so you know how to properly install it. A lot of add-ons and plugins are installed exactly the same, but it's still worth your time to read it and make sure, you know, that you're not that guy that can't figure it out because you didn't like read a couple sentences. So if there's a readme, read it. So we'll open it up and we'll see what the 
we'll see what the um, requirements are. So it wants us to make sure that TV auto record zero is in our config. Okay. We'll make sure of that. And we want to make a, a new directory called demos inside our TF directory. Cool. And we want to add the plugins to our add on source mod plugins directory. All right. So I'm going to copy that. And we need a demos for it. Okay. Now this is a modified version of Match Recorder that Tragic and Sizzling made that puts all your demos in a different folder instead of just dumping them to the default directory, which is why these, there's, there's, there's these extra instructions. But we'll follow them because it's a good example of how to follow a readme and it properly install something based on direction. So we'll go back to the uh, FTP and you'll see we're inside our TF folder right here. And the first thing we needed to do was make a directory Okay, remember how we do that. We click on TF, all right, we do create directory, and this will be under the TF folder, like the direction said, and we'll call it demos. Cool, now you'll see a demos folder right here. Now, we will go to the match recorder here, okay. Now, now the next step was they wanted us to put this .smx file into the plugins folder of source mod. So, we'll go to add-ons, source mod, and then we'll find plugins, and you'll see a lot of other SMX mods, or S dot .SMX plugins. And we'll just take the Tragic Servers one and plop it in there. All right, and it's done. So we'll look in here, and we'll see the Tragic Servers match recorder. Now there's one last step. It said you wanted to make sure that auto record was set to zero. So we'll go into our configs folder, TF, CFG. We'll go to our server.cfg. We will view it discard the local file and download it straight from the server all right and i'm pretty sure further down in here somewhere i already have auto record off because i already have this plugin but just you know for the sake here we would just make a new line it could be anywhere and we'll just simply put that in and then we will save it okay i won't save it because i don't need this but you will put this line in your server.cfg save the file okay we're not going to save it because I don't personally need to. And then another window is going to pop up and say, would you like to re-upload that file to the server? And you'll say yes. And then once you've done that, Tragic, you know, Tragic's match recorder is fully installed. So in a way you can check, and we've already gone over this technically um, in the previous videos about the control panel, but let's just do it real quick. I actually didn't even prepare for this, so let's just do it right off the cuff. So we'll go to our, our server control. Okay, we'll go to our Archon tool here, and we'll type in SM plug plugins list. Okay, now there were some errors. MG was an error because we're not on the MG server, so it's always going to error unless it's on a map that's compatible. And also, um, SOAP will also have an error if it's on a map that doesn't have spawns for it. So you'll see here that there isn't a tragic servers one. And the reason for that is there's two ways to go about it. We can restart the server or we can do some commands in here um, that will refresh the list and reload plugins. But for, for like, you know, for power users, sure. But let's, for the everyday user, let's just restart the server. So we'll click restart the server and we'll click do it. All right. It's being stopped. And we'll, and we'll just uh, refresh this page until we see the Archon tool. We'll be able to pop back up here. We'll actually go to status. Okay. We'll reload this. All right, it appears to be back up, so we'll go to server control, and we'll show the Archon tool, and we'll type it in again, SM plugins list. All right, now if we look here, we will see right here, it's actually not called um, Tragic Server's Match Recorder, but it is the Match Recorder that we wanted, and it's made by Sizzling, and we know it's the right thing, and there's no error in front of it, so we know we properly installed that plugin, and this is a good way to check. If you don't know how to use this Archon tool, we have videos prior to this one that perfectly explain it. So, that is how you properly install MG, SOAP, and TF2 logs, and how you would install a plugin that isn't from a Tragic Servers pack. Thank you for watching. I'm Schwan, and I'm out.